Grab a seat, grab your food. How's everybody doing? Yep, yep. Tell me something good. Grab a mic. Tell me something good. Grab a mic and tell me something good. For those of you at home, everybody's getting food right now. All right, I'll tell you something good, Larry. All right, let's hear it. Uh, Time to prove it. We received. Everybody, listen up. Hey, hey, Sarah. Can you close that door. Just close that door. Y'all making a lot of noise. All good noise. Awesome. Go ahead, Tanya. Uh, we received a, <clears throat> a card from the founders of St. John's United Methodist Church, both pastors, thanking us immensely for all of our work we did on Red Day and sending out their blessing and their grace to us in our businesses and in our personal lives. That was pretty cool. Awesome. I read the card this morning. It is awesome. Thank you. What else? Tell me something good. Hey, Carla. Who brought us lunch today? Come on up here a minute. Thank you so much for lunch. Good morning. Good, morning. Well, good afternoon now. Good afternoon now. How's everybody doing? Good deal. Good deal. Uh, well, thank you guys for having me. Um, so I wanted to, you mentioned about good news. I'm excited actually to share some great news. We were just actually chatting in the cafeteria now. We actually just closed, a lot, many of you may or may not know this, we're a Silicon Valley based company. We're a startup. We just closed on a series C round of funding, uh, which was led by Wells Fargo. So it's a huge $50 million investment into our business. We're super excited about it. It's gonna mean big things for the company. Uh, one of the important partners that we have, we're really excited about is actually NAR's investment arm partnered with us. So we're the first company to partner with, uh, uh, there's a home warranty space with that, uh, with that company. So what that means for you guys is that we're gonna to continue to try to innovate. We're gonna to continue to try to push the industry forward and be a better partner for you and your clients. Uh, and what that means is just continually problem solving. So one of the things that I'm sure you guys have heard me talking about that is very unique to our company and unique to our business is the brand for brand coverage. So a lot of you work in this area and a lot of you have clients that sell or excuse me, buy and sell luxury properties. Um, brand for brand is a big one for them because we're the only home warranty partner that actually covers the full value of a replacement for like a Sub-Zero, Viking, Wolf, Thermidor, those high-end appliances. So we're the only one that guarantees that you'll get the same brand and that the, the coverage of them is going to be high enough. So that's a huge benefit there. One of the things we're most excited about that just came out uh, about a month or so ago um, is our inspection protection. So what this means is that we'll actually try to close that gap. So many of your clients, uh, you know, you go through an inspection process, you're going to purchase a home or they're going to purchase the home rather. Uh, and then after closing, they have, you know, something that breaks down and then it's not covered because of pre-existing conditions. Well, we want to close that gap. We want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Inspection protection is that for your clients. So you can actually submit the inspection report before closing, and we'll let you know in writing what will not be denied due to pre-existing conditions. So this is a game changer. This really allows for your clients to have that clarity up front. And as an added benefit, we'll actually give them fifty dollars in service rewards uh, to partner, you know, to partner with this and take advantage of that. And that they can use for any of our maintenance services. So. Uh, we'd love to be a partner with you guys. Hopefully that is some good information for you. I'm dropping off some uh, notepads there. So if you don't have my information already, please reach out to me. Uh, and then what, what questions do you guys have? Yeah. One business day. So if you drop one in today, you'll get a report back tomorrow. This is an industry first type program. So I always call. So if you do have one that's submitted, I always call you and just talk through it. So if there's questions or concerns, I just got one back for the client. They had their HVAC, all pretty much everything in the home fully covered. So they had so much more reassurance. And the big thing about this too, is right now, since you're not having clients that are asking for a warranty, a lot of times they're writing it out of the contract. This gives them so much more buying power. So if they have to purchase it on their own, now they have much more transparency in knowing what they're going to get, get into. So yeah, thank you for that. All right. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Mr. Kelso, are you are you on? Because you're not here. 
Kelso. Well, maybe he'll jump on later. Send him a text message and say, where are you? Tell him you lost. Right? Good. Of course, you, you all been around for the construction, got done. It, it looks awesome. If you have not been over to the other side yet, we've got a little bit of finishing work to do, but that is, um, it's been dramatic. Craig said to me when he first came in, hey, we got to blow this wall out. It just, I didn't get it, you know, but I, honestly, you look at it now and you go, it, it is good. It really opened things up over there. So thanks so much for our platinum partners. We got Deanna Mellis. We got Carla Schwab back in the back of the room there. We got Jeannie Kluger. We got Kathy Crittenden, E.L. Crane, and Sarah Watson back there. Good. Our gold partners, James Acosta, Tammy Rose, Rachel Williams. Did I see Rachel? She just walked out. Okay. Laura Springman and Kathy Leger. Our gold partner, Scott Pratt, you guys all just saw Jean, Isabel Katz, Jasmine, and Jeff Owens. Sheila with Red Dot Homes, Justin with Fixed Repair, Stacy with Home Warranty of America, and Melanie Bowles, One Guard Home Warranty. Thank you so much. Silver partners, Marjorie Blankenship, Chick House. Uh, Priscilla Marino, U.S. Health, Sarah Flores with Empire Utility, and Stephen Mayers with Bold Bids. Thank you, thank you. By the way, we have a lot of stuff today, so um, let's hit, come on up here, Miss Tanya, grab a mic. There you go. Where's Alice? There she is. <laughs> Well, there was a head right in your way, and I'm not going to say it was Chuck's, but it was Chuck's. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm sure many of you have heard about the missing man table, the fallen soldier table. Um, we have created one in honor of Memorial Day. It's in the front office. If you or someone in your family served in the military at any point, can you please stand? Can I get two people, if y'all would stay standing, can I get two people to give me a 15 to 30 second about what Memorial Day means to you? Grab a mic there. Mm -hmm. What's that? How many men and women lost their lives fighting for freedom? That's what Memorial Day means to me. And we need to keep on fighting. I 
I would say I lost our country. I will not lose another country. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. One more quick volunteer. All right. About 30 seconds. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> um, so the fallen soldiers table uh, represents something a little different for me. Um, I mean, it also signifies the missing physical men that are at the dinner tables that are not there with their families anymore. But to me, um, my ex-husband was in the military and came home physically, but parts of him did not come home mentally. And he still struggles with that today. And I think there's a lot of men and women that, that came home that didn't really come home. And I think that's maybe kind of gets lost in the, the shuffle sometimes, but we're doing, you know, I think there's a lot more people that recognize mental health and PTSD nowadays than, you know, farther back, but both the absent physical and mental, I just, my heart goes out to them and their families for everything that they've sacrificed and given to this country. And I appreciate all of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Got one more. Got one more. She had her yeah, hand up, so. Give that girl a mic. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get away without talking. <laughs> so my son is a Marine and he, we constantly talk about the people that is, are lost to suicide. And it's a hard conversation to have with your 20 year old son all the time. So that's what this means to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please be seated. Thank you for your service and for your family member service. Um, I'm going to try to get through this as best I can because 9-11, uh, I was with my deaf students and we went on lockdown. So um, this is very emotional for me. But anyway, I want to explain a little bit. Thanks to Tanya. We're getting all, we're getting all this together. But about the POW MIA Remembrance Table. Uh, if you enter the office on the other side, right near Karina's uh, desk, um, there is a small table. It's just set for one. The table is our way of symbolizing the fact that members of our military are no longer with us and are missing. They're commonly called POWs or MIAs. They're unable to be with us, and so we remember them. The table is set for one is small, symbolizing the fertility of one prisoner alone against his oppressors. Remember, the tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. Remember, the single red rose displayed in a vase reminds us of the families and loved ones of our comrades in arms who keep the faith awaiting their return. Remember, the yellow ribbon tied so prominently on the vase is reminiscent of the yellow ribbon worn upon the lapel and breast of thousands and around trees to witness their unyielding determination to demand a proper accounting of our missing. Remember, the candle symbolizing the upward reach of their unconquerable spirit. Remember, a slice of lemon is on the bread plate to remind us of their bitter fate. Remember, there is salt upon the bread plate, symbolic of the family's tears as they wait. Remember, the glass is inverted, they cannot toast with us. Remember, the chair, the chair's empty. They are not here. Remember, all of you who have served with them and called them comrades who depended upon their might and aid and relied upon them for surely they have not forsaken you. Remember, please remember until the day they come home. Remember. Tribes, are you on, Kate? No? By the way, thank, thank you all for sharing. So welcome to your last 
weekly team meeting, right? So starting in the month of June, we're gonna to go to, by the way, we're gonna try this. We're gonna see if it all works, right? We're gonna to go to a once a month meeting. It's gonna be the second Tuesdays of the month. It's gonna be from nine to 11. We're gonna make it a breakfast one. We're gonna make it with a lot of great content. We're gonna go offsite. We're still working on all of the pieces of that, but we'll get you more information as that's coming. And the second thing I wanna hit real quick with you all, because we got many of you on Zoom, but Make sure on your licenses that you are making absolutely sure that it's not, um, that you've got your continuing education in and that it is not expired, right? What happens with an expired license when you're in real estate? You might get in a little trouble, right, Hubert? Hubert's out there going, oh, yeah, 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 you're going to get in trouble. Yeah, right. So TREC notifies you when your continuing education is due, right? They also kind of give us that notice, but there's not much of a notice afterwards, you know, so that's the big, big surprise. So just make sure you're keeping up with all that. So end of the month closings. I know Victoria's up there and Felicia are working real hard on end of the month closings. Make sure that all checks are received by the office by Tuesday, um, the first of the month. So make sure all that's in there. Um, our goal is always to get you, get everything in there get you paid, get out of compliance, all those good things. By the way, we're working on a lot of things and there may be some changes that are coming along there too. So, right, Hubert? He's like, yeah. <laughs> There's a speaker out there, by the way. It's not that he's just... <laughs> Happy birthday. So the 24th, we got Natasha. The 26th. Um, so... There's a birthday coming up tomorrow, a couple of birthdays that are that we see them all. Hubert's one of them, right? So yeah, early happy birthday tomorrow. Uh, he'll, be he'll be 19. I'm still using one of your pictures on my recruiting packet and you, you look younger now. You look better now even than you did in that picture. Get <laughs> And also, Stephen Carter, happy birthday. On the 27th, we got Jamila, we got Carrie, we got Richard. On the 28th, we got Alexandra, we got April Jones. On the 29th, Alfredo. On the 30th, Angela Williams. On the 31st, Ashley Burton Smith. So happy birthday. Got mine last week. This is a service we provide. So we've got somebody, male or female, your choice and recording you a very professional sounding. Uh, so we got a radio guy in the house, right? Bill Knappick sitting over here. How important is it to sound professional? Listen, listen to this radio voice when he comes up here, right? Very professional, right? So we do this, this is one of our services we provide. Get with Teresa. Transaction coordinators, Melissa Ramirez, Andrea Torres. Michael's gonna talk here in a minute about some new things we're doing. Agent on call, right? So we've always got two of our ALC members there on the nights and the weekends to help answer your questions. You've got myself, you've got the coaches, right? There's a lot of people here. Don't be lost. Michael. Good job. All right, we just saw that we had a couple transaction coordinators up here, and we are introducing a program that allows all of you to have somebody do your paperwork. When I got into this business, I thought, you know, I'm not going to have any problem doing paperwork. I hate paperwork. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's not for me. Um, we didn't use a whole lot of transaction coordinators when I got into the business. It's become a lot more prevalent. But at the same time, there is a, there's a cost associated with it. And that's where you have to decide, is it worth it to spend three and a quarter up to 450 to have your transaction done? And that's where you start doing the economics and decide, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Or on this one, it doesn't. Well, we're making it possible so that you can all use transaction coordinators within the market center um, for free. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? There's got to be a catch to it. Well, let me show you what they're going to do. And let's pull that up if I could. Does anybody else need that bigger? 
<laughs> All right, let me go ahead and just read through it. You just so, had eye surgery. <laughs> I can read it. <laughs> I can probably read that one. So there are a list of things that you do as a transaction coordinator. They're gonna cover the big ones. So let's go through some of the key things. One, enter contacts info on database, and that's KW command follow-up. Add loop, up, upload documents and create pre-listing marketing checklist. Add opportunities on KW command. Yes, they know command. So this is kind of cool. And connect to dot loop and create room on DocuSign. Schedule photos depending on client's preferred photographer company. Now that one is a coming soon. I don't want them to jump into your preferences for extra services, ordering inspections, all those things. So that one's a coming soon. Dropbox, create folders and upload files and photo photos. Google Calendar, create separate calendar, specifically a marketing calendar for all information like schedule of photos, staging, go live date, expiration date. We're gonna move down here Create flyers if requested, update status tracker, add on website, update dot loop, check signing listing agreements and documents, completing all disclosures. They're going to do everything. Now we're going to add in some other things, adding the property to MLS. That's a coming soon. We want you to do that right now, but they're going to take care of everything else to get your transaction from start to finish. They will hound you if your paperwork isn't in and it won't cost you anything. Right, for that basic, so it's not, yeah, pretty cool. So this is about being an agent at KW Memorial. We are service rich. And that's why you're out of KW Memorial. You could go somebody, somewhere else and not have services that we provide here. And there's a ton, this is one more. Now we're starting with a smaller group. We have seven agents in our pilot program. We have seven transaction coordinators, but again, we're just starting it slow. The person who's the most experienced was a transaction coordinator for KW in Florida. So they've gone through all the transitions, um, but we, we wanna start small. Now, whoever has a deal right now going, you have a deal in escrow, you're not using a transaction coordinator or an assistant, we would love to add you to it as well, to have that going through the system. So whoever the first person is that gets with me before I leave this room, you got one, Rena? Okay. So we will add you into the system. Let's take a look if we could, if we can take the screen, real quick and bless are you there or Jean? Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yes, I'm, yes here. I'm here. There you go, All right. there you go. All right. Yeah. So bless is the wife of my assistant Rico. She's in the Philippines right now. It's 1.30 in the morning for her. Um, <laughs> bless, can we pull up the opportunity screen? Sure, Michael. Uh, give me a second here. All right. And so while sure. I'm getting that up, the other thing is some of you are not masters of command, right? Like this room, most of you are not masters of command. They are. So within 60 days, they're all gonna be up to the same speed, all the transaction coordinators you'll be able to ask them things about command as well. When you're Zooming with them, if you are doing that, they will control your screen to take you through what that process looks like to do whatever function you need to do. That's an added service, and we're providing that. Uh, basically, how do we get the resources for this? Is one of the questions we had. Remember, we had a showing service that we were using to compete with showing time. We don't want to give our data to, to Zillow. Well, it turns out HAR is providing one free in the next couple of months. So we said, let's take those resources, those seven people we have doing this job uh, and move them over into doing transaction coordinating. We didn't let them go. We added a really cool service that moves the needle for you. How cool is it to have somebody help you with command and do your transaction work for you for free? So that's one of the services. Now let's take a look. Hopefully most of you have at least seen this screen that I'm showing you right now. All right. <laughs> All right, who's seen the screen? Put your hands up. <laughs> All right, okay. now we know which ones are not using command. All right, so this, <laughs> yeah, no. this is the edge. Yeah. Okay, get the heckler out of the room. Um, <laughs> this is where your, your opportunities go. So this allows you in its truest sense to see the progress and the expectation of a transaction. When you just meet with somebody, that's not money, but it gives you a percentage of what the likelihood is of what this should turn into, assuming you're hitting the base marks. But they're gonna take your transaction through this 
process. So you'll be able to see what's going on. Inherently, you're going to get better at command. Either we're going to adopt it or we're not. We're going to adopt it, but we're just helping you guys along considerably. So very cool. Ladies, are you ready to get started with everybody? Yes. Okay, that's not true. Yes, we're not getting right. everybody. We're going to get just a handful <laughs> right now. Oh, we started yesterday. We already have, this is one of the deals we have going through for Emily Zackham right now. So we have agents in the program. We're going to get everybody rolled in. It's probably a 60 days for the office. We just want to work through every piece of this, but it's something that's pretty cool. And we're happy to bring this to you again. Service rich is important to us. We want you to get great value out of your real estate company. Ladies, thank you so much. There's a 15 second time delay, by the way. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Michael. All right, good job. Right, good job. By the way, we're we looking, we are looking at everything that we're doing. Just so you all know, Craig's back in the back of the room. We're looking at everything, everything we spend money on, right? Is it is it got value for you or not? What are the things we can take away? What are the things we can add in value, right? So we, we think this is a value add. So obviously from your applause, Chuck. The show is going great. Yeah, yeah, Houston showings. You wanna do it? I'm not sure what the next slide is. You wanna take it to the next one? It? Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> well, we've got a showing agent class. <laughs> it's June 4th at 1.30. So what's a showing agent that's program? That's a great question. Thank you for oh, setting I... up with that. So we have this program in place. And actually, some of you use it consistently, and some of you don't even know that it's going on. We have about 30 showing agents in the office and others that want to get into it. It's a way to make some money. It's a way to uh, supplement what you're doing and also to learn. Once you've gone through Ignite, and we, we say through Ignite, it, through Ignite in its entirety, with James, who's doing it now, James Ward, uh, if you've done it in the past, we want to know that you know what you're doing. An agent can call on you because you're in the program. They can see where you live, the street. It'd be creepy if it was any tighter than that. But they can see where you live. Okay, I'm up in the woodlands. Great, I need a showing agent in the woodlands. And they can click on it and get your information and see what you're asking for. The Compensation is $25 an hour, minimum of two hours, or 25% commission, or 10% commission, and $10 an hour. You pick the compensation ahead of time, and it's all in the program. You need to be certified in the program in order to use it, either as a showing agent or as a lead agent. So you want to take the class. It's short. I think it's about an hour long. It's James talking, so it's about an hour and a half long. But he's going to cover every detail that you need, and you got to get in it. So get into this program. When you're right now, if you have buyers and you have two sets of buyers, is it possible to take both sets around around the same time? No, it's not. It's not good service. Showing agent is trained to get them to the property, and when they're ready to buy, they come to you. You will not lose a client. We've had this program now for eight years. We've never had a lead agent say, he took my client. We have it all set up. It's already attorney uh, thoroughly looked through it. And it's, uh, it's something that's been working for years and years. Take advantage of the fact that we have it and other companies want it. Every month we collect a check from other companies that buy it from us. We want you to use this really cool program, but you gotta get certified to get in. So June 4th, put it on your calendar. And if you wanna get an update on what's going on in it, Take that class. It, it's an hour. All right, guys. Yes, Rena. Oh my God! Someone get this lady a mic. <laughs> Thank you, Rena. Let's hear it. You still got to turn it on. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> it's all you know. To me, this is really useful, but it's only useful if you're intentional about it. So if you're, you're if you want to be a showing agent for a listing you know, a lister, then what you need to do is let them know, I love this area. I work this area. If you ever need me in this area, I'm available for you. And so, um, so basically I, I have listing agents who know that I work particular parts of the city and rely on me 
to go because they know it's my beaten path. They know I know it. They know I'll take good care of their client. So you got you got to really you got to put some skin in the game and be proactive about it. And um and you will see a return because that's you know it's like trusting yourself with a client. You're trusting you're you're you have to you know gain trust with these agents and you have to introduce yourself. Talk to them, get let them get to know you, and they will start using you. So. And that's exactly, it's like a dating service. Once you find someone that you like, you're gonna use their <laughs> services again. It's the closest thing we got. It's probably better than dating. It's not really a dating service. <laughs> Where's Hubert? <laughs> it's not a dating service. The blood sucking attorney is not in here. All right, so guys, commit, commit to taking that because here's our challenge. So many of you get excited that we have this when you need it, but if you're not certified, we can't get you on there. So take the one hour to get into the class and, and get certified so that you have this incredible leverage tool at your disposal. It's an incredible leveraging tool. They have to be competent. Here's what happens. If you show up late and you're the showing agent for another agent, if I'm uh, Tanya's showing agent and I'm supposed to meet her clients at 12 o'clock because that's what we agreed upon and I show up at 12.02, I'm out of the program. You guys know how long? 90 days. Yeah, 90 days, I'm out of the program. I have to look professional. My car doesn't have to be new, it has to be clean. So I would be a crappy showing agent today. But in general, it has to be clean because Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I'm Tanya's showing agent. I'm here to show you this property plus any others you wanna see. But when you ultimately decide on writing an offer, Tanya's gonna take over, take over. I'm gonna be out of the picture completely, but I'm gonna get paid. So it's a great system but you just have to show up to the class. That's it. All right, guys. Awesome. Thank you. You swipe left if you like the showing agent. You always make it creepy. You always have to go there. Hey, real quick, y'all. I got lost in Memorial Day. I'm going to pass around these cards. If everybody could please sign their name there for our vendors to say thank you for supporting us for Red Day. And we'd like to get all these signed and get them out in the mail today. So everybody needs to sign at least two cards, please. Thanks. Thanks, Tanya. Thank you. So playing to win. Um, so today's guest, come on up here, Bill. Tell you a little bit about Bill. So how many of you have been, um, how many of you listen to the radio? Right? Big, big group, right? You listen to the radio. Um, Jorge, can you turn the camera a little bit over here? I appreciate it, right? How many of you have been on a radio show? A lot of you. You've been on the radio. Yeah. So a lot of you in this room have been on a radio show. How many of you have been on Bill's radio show? Hey. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good size, good size group in here. So I thought today I'd like to bring in Bill Napick. So Bill, we're going to talk a little bit about life business, your hobbies, dating, dating. Do yeah. that, <laughs> this is not strange. a dating service, right? This is not a dating <laughs> service. Hey? So, so you and I got a chance to get to know each other a little bit. I got to be on your radio show, which was a, was, was an awesome experience. Michael and I are scheduled to go back on sometime in June, July, July, yeah, July, July or July. Yeah. yeah. Um, so some of the things, um, that I thought were pretty fascinating. So who is the most popular person that you have had on your radio show? Popular, I would say most famous person that we have had on the show was October, actor Robert Duvall. And that represents something that the radio does and other massive platforms like radio, TV, all those things, it's a door opener. Let's say you wanted to meet somebody whomever they were, that's hard to meet. Maybe they're a celebrity, maybe they're a business person. Having something, and in this case, a massive platform here in the fourth largest city can help do that. Not every time, but many times it can. In the case of Robert Duvall, Duvall this guy is incredible. As you know, if you're a movie fan, I talked to Robert for 48 minutes. Can you imagine what that time cost if he were to be in a movie or to do a commercial or whatever? But I knew a friend through the radio, two friends through the radio. Just a side note, I'm watching the movie Apocalypse Now. Many of you have seen that. He has had many movies. 
and I put it on pause at the part where Lieutenant Colonel Kilgore is on, played by Robert Duvall, and I'm the iconic character. I put the movie on pause that night about nine o'clock, and I remembered I had two people on the show, and the one person said, do you know that Danny is a good friend of Robert Duvall and Billy Gibbons, by the way? But anyway, so I put it on pause, and I remembered that, and I thought, I'm going to text Danny, and I texted Danny. Hey, I said, hey, I'm watching Apocalypse Now. I love Robert Duvall. I hear you're his buddy. Can you get Robert Duvall on the show? He didn't return my text. This is 930 or so. The next morning, he calls me, and he says, Bobby's ready for you. I said, Bobby, yes. Anyway, opens doors. Opens doors. By the way, go to radiobill.net. You can see part one and two of that interview. It's incredible. Is that radio voice or what? Who is the most interesting guy that you've had on? I think that was Larry Frog. No, 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 no. You, you, had, you had a very interesting interview that involved space. That's right. Okay, so. See, it wasn't me, right? Well, you were right up there. Just saying. Okay, so. I talked to the first Canadian in space that went to space. A quick version of this, and this is also a success tip. Here's a guy, his name's Chris Hadfield. Had, Hadfield. So Chris is a Canadian in Canada, and he wants to be an astronaut. Well, back in that time, I don't think they have a Canadian space program now, but they didn't back then either. But this guy wanted to be an astronaut, and he's in Canada. So logically, he said, the first thing I need to do is learn how to fly. So he took aviation lessons. Long story short, his career, he was the former international commander of the International Space Station. That's gigantic. Can you imagine that? He was in space 161 days on three separate missions. And one of the things, he's also, like myself, he's a musician plays a guitar and he sings while he was in space i suggest you go to this will give you chills if you remember the song space oddity david bowie how many remember that right go to youtube go to youtube it's it's had 20 plus million views but anyway chris was on the show i got to meet him talk to him about his career being an astronaut but he made this video of space oddity ground control to major remember that he made that in the International Space Station. Watch it after we're done here at the meeting. Now someone's going to it right now. But Chris Hadfield, Space Oddity, it, it will give you chills as you see the weightlessness, as he's floating, he's singing, the guitar's moving. You'll remember the song with David Bowie. And he said he had to get permission. He wanted permission from David Bowie to do the song. He said he never met David Bowie, but he called him, and this was uh, his last year of life. He had cancer, David Bowie did, and he got permission. And David, and it was like one of those things I get chills thinking about it. Here's a guy, his dream was to be an astronaut. Then he wanted to sing that song in space. And David Bowie in the 70s, when he wrote that song, said, I never imagined that my song, that song about space would be sung in outer space by Chris Hadfield. Magnificent. Check it out. So, yeah, that was very interesting. But we have had our show, Real Estate Matters with Stuart Title. We just recorded number 378. So figure, I've had the opportunity to meet people like Larry, like Christina Sacco, like Michael Bosar, Carla Schraub. I've met great people all along the way. Rena's been on the show. Brad's been on the show. But I've met great people. It's open doors for me. And I've talked to, I don't know, I've lost track. Figure four guests a show. And that's thousands. In addition, I was doing a show called Successful Living with Bill Nampic that I stopped in uh, October, we did 312 shows. There again, that opened doors. And the moral of the story, you may be saying, okay, great, Bill. You've talked to some interesting people, maybe even dated a few. I have. But in the meantime, what's the moral of the story? One thing I've learned that I would share with you and I'm sharing with myself right now, reminding myself is one of the things I would con will continue to do, and I encourage anybody especially in the real estate profession or anything else, learn and fine tune your communication skills. I do the best I can. I'm always learning. And I will tell you one tip that I believe is worth its weight in gold. Right now, if you were to bring a wheelbarrow with gold nuggets in it, this is as important as that is, whether you're a realtor, whatever you do in life, and that is to learn to speak better to communicate well, to communicate just a little bit better each time. And the tip that is worth that weight 
in my opinion, is the way to do that. There's a lot of things you could do. Your voice, you could, some people are like, I don't want to speak in public. I don't want to talk on the radio. I don't like my voice. Maybe I have a nasal sound, whatever. There's things you can do for that, but that's another story. But most of all, if you do nothing else, record yourself. Now, I hear myself on the radio, but guess what? I'm recording myself right now. Why? Because I want to hear myself again. Sometimes I do. No, not really. <laughs> but I will go back to this recording. I've heard myself a million times, but I'm thinking, did I say what I meant to say? Did I cover the points? Did I have verbal pauses like Oz, um, you know, those things get in the way. And I'm going to tell you, recording and interviewing people, that is the biggest thing. Every show, and not all, most shows don't do this, but I take out ahs and ums. When the guests are talking, I was doing that this morning from the show yesterday. 10 minutes, at least 15 ahs or ums. I'm taking that out on my program. My point is, you don't know you're saying it unless you record yourself. But let's say you're at a listening presentation. Uh, Mrs. Jones, we have the uh, many great schools. and You don't know you're saying it until you record and the more you do that listen to yourself just get your uh, thing there it is put it on your iphone and you'll see what you're doing and what you're not doing and some things you're going to say wow i should have said that again or should sit and said something in a different way anyway record yourself that's the golden tip my golden tip of the day hope you like it every thursday we do something in here that helps you right toastmasters right every thursday what does it cost you nothing free right? market center's paying for it right so good make sure how many of you go or attend service at second baptist woodway good. nobody at woodway what do you well i know claudia buckaloo she was like when i when i said you were here and she was like what well, you know yeah i'm there right. she's but i never see him right so what do you do well, the, what do you do at second baptist goes to the guitar players and the singers so i play the hammond b3 organ for 21 years March 18, 2000 was my first night. It is super exciting. I'm, ex I'm very blessed right now to be able to do the radio. Do what you love. Find out what that is. If you're not there right now, search, find. You'll find it. But anyway, I'm playing the organ at Second Baptist, not the pipe organ. I play the groovy organ. I play the Hammond B3. So when you hear any song, let's say you hear Santana, you hear gospel music, even the Beach Boys on Good Vibrations and these other songs, the Hammond B3 is the, is the organ with the soul. When you hear the young rascals or whomever, that's the Hammond B3. And that's when I get to play Fridays and Saturdays. Check it out. Come on over. Six o'clock Saturday night, Woodway Campus. And by the way, our music is incredible. I fight recently. Everybody that I work alongside is a musical genius. I'm like, I'm just striving to keep up. We have a piano player who has worked with Queen Latifah. He's played the B3. His name's Alex Navarro. This guy is a, gi a musical giant. He's worked with Rita Wilson. How many of you know who Rita Wilson is? Tom Hanks' wife. Yes, yeah, she's a singer. He does a benefit with her at the Carlisle Hotel in New York City every year. He's worked with Rod Stewart. All kinds of things. Long story short, great people, great music at Second Baptist. Our music has been elevated. Six o'clock, Woodway, 9.30 Sunday morning. And I'll be on the Hammond B3. You won't see me. You'll see a little bald head, but I'm in front of the guitar, in front of the uh, drummer, and then the cameras on the guitars and singers, but you'll see me. Great. So I wish we had a lot more time because I could spend a lot more time with you. So what's, what's the last thing or how, last thing that we should know about you or, or how we could help you? Check out the show. In fact, I would do this. I, this would be helping yourself, in my opinion, not just our show, Real Estate Rat Pack, Chris Kelso. That was very instrumental in me being inspired to ask Stuart Title when I first started, can we do a radio show? Carla remembers that seven uh, and a half years ago. And here's another thing that goes along that same line is here we are. I'm not a real estate agent, a practicing one. But anyway, as real estate agents, communication is more important now than ever. And the second thing is be bold. In the world of multiple offers, you have to be a little bit more aggressive. I'm talking to realtors all the time. And going back to what I learned when I started at Stewart Title, I signed up as a business development person. 
Within two weeks, I said to my boss at the time, Betty, I said, Betty, why don't we have a radio show? Ask for what you're looking for. And guess what? Sometimes they'll say yes. Stuart Title, back then and right now, we have about 6,000 associates. Our show has survived through four or five big management changes from the top. How they still have it, I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to work it as long as I can. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I'm amazed. But the point is, if I didn't ask, I wouldn't be doing something that I've always wanted to do many years ago. Radiobill.net, check it out, and you will see your competitors. You'll learn from there. You'll see people in all sorts of real estate, uh, as far as the home, uh, home decorators, I've had dog trainers, I've had Robert Duvall, all kinds of people on the show, but it'll be an education for you. And I think not just our show, but all the venues out there, you'll learn just a little bit more. Thanks for listening to me. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I love that. Record yourself. Yeah. So you said something. You said, he said, did anybody pick up what he said? He said, be, yeah, there you go. Be bold, right? Be bold. So bold. Isn't that great? Time to come on up here. Uh, Zafia, come on up here. And Kate, it's Kate. Kate, Kate is not here. Okay, so this is going to be, we're going to go through real quick. So this, tomorrow, one o'clock here, we have the first session of Bold, and it's free. And there is no reason in this world that you all shouldn't be here or on Zoom. There's no reason in the world because it's not costing anything. It's one hour, right? That's all it is, just one hour. So, Safia, how do we get signed up for it? We can send out a link, right? Yep, you can send out a link. You can sign them up, right? Right, good. So once again, there's no, there's no reason not to be in bold. So bold, I think the average transaction change is about seven transactions. Who could use an extra seven, seven transactions, right? The cost this year, 399, right? It's six weeks. It is uh, once a week on Wednesdays from one to 4 p.m. The cost is 399. After bold, we're gonna give you back $200 for your next transaction, next sales transaction, not leases, next sales transactions. We're gonna give you $200 back. So it's gonna cost you 199. So tell me what has bold, how many, how many times you've been in bold, Sevilla? Three. Three bolds. Is your mic on? Good. Okay, good. Yeah, it's there you on. go. Okay, three bolds. So... Why three? <laughs> okay, so I'm not a bold girl. I'm a buffini girl. And every time I took bold, I thought, why the heck am I doing this again? Well, apparently there's been a lot of changes. I talked to our coach, Regina, last week, and it sounds like it's going to be a completely different bold experience. And I'm really looking forward to it this time. So all of you who have tried bold or have been afraid to do bold because of all the cheering and rah-rah and all that stuff, which drives me crazy. It's apparently not supposed to be like that this time. So I'm actually looking forward to it. Tanya, what do you want to say about it? How many, how many bowls? Two in person and one- Digitally? The, the original okay. digital. Uh, I am the rah-rah girl. I am the cheerleader. I love all that stuff. So if it's not there, I might miss it. However, what it, what it does for my business every time I take it is it accelerates it to a new level. So whether I'm having a really bad point in my business or I'm having a really great point in my business, either way, it's dramatically affected to the positive. I typically average six additional transactions every time I take bold because it reminds me to get back to the basics and do what we're supposed to do in this business. If we could have bold like all every week for like a year, I'm probably the girl that would sign up for that. All right, well, we can, we can make that happen. So I, I'll never forget when I first joined Keller Williams and, and it was taken bold and, and it was, you know, part of it was the old, the old bolds you laid on the floor. Remember everybody brought in $1 bills and yeah. You wanted, they wanted to feel what money felt like falling Rain on you, money. right? Raining Rain money. money. Right. By the way, how many in the room's taking bold? Great. Right. Look at that. How many more than once? 
Good, good, good. Yeah, I just never got that, you know, laying on the floor, you know, money throwing on me. But yet here's what happened. Every time business went up, right? While I was in production and while I'm also, right, recruiting, it's the same thing. It's just, your, your business just grows. So good. So why should everybody be taking bold right now? Last question. Why should everybody be taking bold? Because you're nuts if you don't. You got a room full of living proof that says that your business will increase. So at the cost that we're going to get it, and in, in sitting in here doing it side by side with your peers, I don't think there's a better way to do bold than that way. Good. Sophia. As we know, the market is a bit challenging right now. And don't you want your unfair share of listings and buyers? That's the reason why you want to take bold. Great. And Larry, real quick, in this room, I don't know everyone's production, but when I took a look at broker metrics today, we still have in this market, the best market I've ever seen, I'm in my 25th year, best market I've ever seen, we still have 260 agents that haven't sold anything that have been in the business more than a year. Say that again. 260 agents who haven't sold anything and they've been in the business more than a year. Let's think about that for a second. Is this, I mean, it's not even a hobby. This is an expensive hobby. If we're just licensed, you're paying Trek and HAR, you're paying HAR every year, you're doing the MCEs, you're paying us a fee, you're funding the cool stuff we have. But if you're not going to get in it, get out. It doesn't make sense to just have a license. If you could have a camera on you 24 seven, or at least while you're working. <laughs> it's not a dating service. <laughs> it's good. It's, would your family be proud of you and what you do when you're doing real estate? And that's the question. I promise you what you will see tomorrow. First off, it's free to go to Bold First Step. It's an hour. The commitment is actually half the time it typically was. We used to spend about six and a half hours. Now it's three hours for the regular session, which starts in a couple of weeks. Tomorrow, it's one hour. Be in there. If this is just going to be one of those things where, hey, I got my license, but it kind of didn't work like that happens to a lot of people. Don't go through that misery. Take the time tomorrow to experience what your business should look like. This is your opportunity. And I, I love this bold coach. This is our 20th bold that we've had since 2008. And this lady is the best I've seen. Take advantage of her skills. Last thing. I also want to mention that if you're not going to take bold for your business, take bold for your life. Because every single time I take bold, I break through some crazy barrier that's been in my way in other areas of my life. And it takes me to the next playing field somewhere else besides my business. So it's a twofold program to get into bold. And I expect to see all of you here tomorrow at one o'clock. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, who has signed up already and paid for the full bold? Right? Isn't that a good shot? Who else? Who else? Who else? No, I know Tanya. Tanya gave me the shirts. <laughs> Tanya gave me the shirts. You ready? Who else? Who else is going to? Got Sophia back there? What do you mean, maybe? Are you in or are you out? In, out. Come on. All right, get, get signed up. Who else? Who else is gonna sign up and pay for it? Who's in first step right now? Hey, and with that, we have vendors in the room. We have yep. partners vendors in the room. It. Absolutely. I think that if they take the time to learn the KW concepts, the materials, the systems, the models, if they're going to take bold, y'all should strongly consider them, consider giving them your next order. I like that. That would make sense. Okay, so I'm I sorry, like who, that. Who are you with? So everybody said, Dilsey said she's going to sponsor somebody. Oh, I thought you I thought you said you were sponsored. I thought you were sponsoring somebody. We might sponsor somebody.
Yeah. Okay. It's something different. All right. Well, I got a shirt left, so let's keep. We'll keep rolling. Coaching corner, Miss Kimberly. Chuck's gonna do it. All right. Chuck's gonna do it. Hopefully, there's a slide because he's texting me at a meeting. So. Okay. There's. You a got to come prepared. I mean, you know. I mean, this is what this is all about. <laughs> well, Larry, some of us were. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, the coaching awards for eight. April. Yes, this is May. So this is the top listing agent in third place, uh, Norbert Rivera. And we want to give Norbert a little of recognition. He's been in coaching for quite some time and has really stepped up his game this year. He's probably going to close nine or 10 million and he's transitioning into the uh, Fafini coaching program now, but he is also taking bold. Mm -hmm. He has signed up for bold, even though he's a Buffini advocate because he believes it will get his business to the next level. So hats off to Norbert. You'll see him on most of these slides every month in the last year or so. Uh, second place is Andrea Garcia Ahmed. And first place was Casita Beatty Griffin for our top listing agent. All right. All right, now there's Norbert again. The uh, top closed volume, Holly Turkington. Holly is, I think she's still a teacher. Do you know, Alex, is she still teaching? And, and I looked at her numbers this week. She's put several more contracts up in the last week. She is doing incredible for a dual career agent that's really committed to lead generating. Alex Ellerin, second place, didn't you cap? So congratulations on capping this congratulations. month Congratulations, well. Alex, congratulations. And then we have Norbert again for the top closed volume. Who's gotta do that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, he went to Mexico, Stop got married, and came back cat. like the next day. So it's a very romantic type situation. No, <laughs> they're going back down in June with the family deal and, and do a real blowout party down there. And I'm carrying his luggage. Uh, so first closings in April, we had Mo Bernawi, Trisha Berry, Kadwana Brooks, Emily Catrone, Casey Reed, Randall, I think it should be Randall Reese, and then Ashley Wincher. All right. And then... I'm not going to read all 66 names because Larry said we have a busy agenda today, but these are all our coaching clients. We, we have every month 60, 70, 75 agents that are in production, which means they took a listing, had an executed contract, or had a closing every single month. Co coaching is a great program. Uh, got a kudos to Kimberly and, and Kelly uh, for uh, doing a great job with all of our agents. And I believe that's it. But I got to tell you, Bill. Uh, that ground control to Major Tom. When I had long hair, that song was popular at Penn State. My roommate and I had four huge speakers. We cranked that song and blasted into the quad so everybody could play Frisbee. That was our favorite song. That was a flashback today, my friend. You, so, you, were, really, you were really going back in time there. I know. How long ago and was how that? How old are you, Larry? No. I'm a little older than you, but yeah. There you go. I think I'm older too. But I, anyhow. All right, that's it. I think that's it for our coaching work. Okay, yes. Power hour. You want to do power hour real quick? Okay. Yeah, power hour? Yeah. Just let it know. Yeah, power hour is every day. It's open to everybody. Tanya was up here. She's one of our advocates. She's on there every day. Uh, it's at 9.30 to 10.30, Monday through Friday. The link's on the training calendar. And that's where you want to get out there and make your phone calls. We, we get Alex and started it. She's capping. Brian Crawford started it. Uh, and you lead generate on Zoom, cameras on, microphones off, you, you dial for dollars, make your call, send text, do social media, and you just have that group accountability. It's way easier to lead generate with people helping you doing the same thing than it is by yourself. I know there's some people in here that will not absolutely pick up the phone and make a call if they have to do it by themselves. Get on with Power Hour and do it with other agents. It's much, much easier as a group. Thank you, Chuck. All right, thank you. So, and just, just to be serious for a minute, Michael, how many transactions, how many agents do we not have a transaction? 260 agents without a transaction. We offer so many things for you, but you got to come and you got to plug in, right? Things like our hour, things like coaching, right? We don't want you to be out of the business. So make sure you're plugging into everything. Thank you, Garrett.
So easy transition. All right, cool. Um, by a show of hands, how many of you have set goals for the year? Just keep them up, real high. How many of you actually have them written down right now and follow them every single day so you can see them? All right, right now, for a million dollars, how many of you feel comfortable on a scale of one to 10 if I were to send him to Gary Keller? Woo! Okay, so I'll put my hand down when I was talking to a top producer. You know what he said? Trash. So those of you who put yours down, I would say that your goals are trash because they're not the best that they could possibly be. Um, knowing me, if any of y'all know me, if someone challenged me, I buck back. I don't care if you're Gary Keller, I care if you're this top producer, but then I had to sit down and think about it. And this top producer, he's an OP, owns title companies in charge of like regional uh, social equity for his entire region. And he showed me his, his 401, his goals. And I stopped and I said, my bad. Like, I, I get it now. Like, I get it. My mouth dropped. The comparison between his 411, his goals for the year, and mine, it was night and day. And I was like, you're right. It, it is trash. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a five or six. It's a one. But what it did, it set the tone for me and what it should be like for everyone in here setting goals to be the top producer or top OP, top team leader that we can possibly be. Um, so I'm giving you right now three ways to reevaluate your business. And these are the three steps that I thought of immediately as soon as I saw his goals. One, how do I stack up? If he's the best, how do I crush his goals? Where am I right now? And where am I with my own goals? Number two, like for me, was do I have the energy? Do I have the bandwidth to sustain that pace? Because that's a heck of a bar that this dude has set. And number three, is it sustainable? Like over time, yeah, I can pace. I can make 100 phone calls in a week. But can I do that? each and every week for the rest of my life as a team leader. So those three things I thought about, I did a little bit of research and this is the article that I'm gonna share with you today. Um, the first one, assess where you are. Look at your goals. We're halfway through the year. This is a perfect opportunity for you to see how you're doing. And don't be ashamed if you need to change your goals. There's several different questions to ask. Do you have enough listings? Um, are you meeting with your clients? Have your database grown? And for me, um, the biggest thing was after that, burnout. We have a lot of pressure. I know y'all have a lot of pressure. We just came off a pandemic, probably one of the craziest years of our lives. Like, how do we prevent it? So we have some self-care tips right here. The first one, self-care. Do you have time for yourself? I talked to a top producer yesterday, and her rule now is that she does not work any Sundays whatsoever. As much as she produces, she makes time for her family because that's what energizes her. So find time for what energizes you. Sharing household duties with your partner or spouse not really big into gender roles and what we do. We're a team at home. Um, so if we need to watch the kids, get the milk, uh, I need to go on a walk with our crazy seven-year-old, I'll do that. And my wife will maintain what she's doing in her work or she'll go to a meeting. Um, time management. One thing that I learned from this guy is that he blocks out every single day, every single hour. And he has a day dedicated to building relationships. He has a day dedicated to building wealth with his family. He has a dedicated day to recruiting. And it's insane. And he follows it to the T. I even saw our meeting on there because he showed me his 411. It's about 50 items just for this week that he needs to accomplish, which is insane. But that's the bar all of us are trying to get to. All of us here probably be millionaires and best we can be. And then set client boundaries. I know it's hard. I know y'all are submitting multiple offers on listings right now and everything is going insane but it's no good if you burn out. You're no good to yourself. You're no good to your family if you don't set boundaries for yourself. So since y'all are businesses, what are your hours? What are your expectations for your clients? Are you setting those ahead of time? Which is going to be crucial for you as well. And then the last part is goal setting. KW gives us excellent tools to set our goals. The first one is a 411. I love the 411 and I, I got a great analogy. What was the golf tournament this weekend? Phil Mickelson? 50 years old, right? Okay, who did he beat? A Bove Shambeau or something like that. Uh -huh. Younger guy, right? Kepka. He beat Kepka. And the reason he beat him, because Milkerson wasn't winning the entire time, right? But throughout the days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he was making minor adjustments to his game to fix it and stay consistent. He stayed on path. He didn't blow up his entire plan, but he was consistent. The younger guy, he overcompensated. Kept going right. He's okay, I'm going to go left now. He went all the way left. And he eventually blew it. Why? Because he wasn't slowly assessing his game like each and every day. Phil Milkerson made minor adjustments, minor adjustments, minor adjustments, and he won. And that's what a 411 is. 411, four weeks in a month. I mean, yeah, four weeks in a month, you have one month, at least your goal for one year. 
Every single week, you should be reassessing where you are because you can't get off track if you're meeting every single week. You're looking at your goals every single week. You know exactly where you are. And you look back, it's like, wow, I made a big change, but it didn't happen suddenly. So you're blowing your entire business plan up. And then three, we have a book called The One Thing. Everybody here should have a copy of The One Thing. Small actions lead to extraordinary results. If you haven't had time to read The One Thing lately or ever read it before, I highly recommend you just walk across after this meeting, talk to Karina, whoever's at the front desk, and get you a copy. We're not charging for those. Yeah, Craig didn't look up, so we're good. Uh, so we're not, <laughs> we're not charging for the One Thing books. I would love for y'all to take time to read them, and maybe we can get a book club. I don't know if Kim, um, if you're on the line right now for the book club, maybe that could be the other Kim. Uh, Kim Roberts, my bad, Kim. Uh, maybe that could be our next book club uh, meeting with that book for the one thing. And we can really set our goals through the halfway point throughout the year. And so we're, oh, you have a class coming up? And you're teaching and you said next month for the half of the year? Awesome, cool. I'll be there with you. I'll block out the time. Uh, so we have a class next month with Kimberly Gibbons and she's going to help everybody um, look at their middle of the year goals. And we're gonna reset and get focused together. And those are my three steps for reevaluating your business goals. Thank you. Thank you, Garrett. I remember the day that you had that call and he, and he walked into my, my, my office and, he, and his head was just ready to explode. I mean, it, you could just tell it was, he just had the most awesome thing. So I appreciate all your leadership. Thank you. Upcoming trainings coming up. Tech Connect part one is going to be Tuesday today, 2 to 4 p.m. with Oscar. Our coaching program, so that's 8.30, 9 a.m. every morning, every morning. Free, right, Chuck? Yes, free. You open at 8 for script practice. There you go. Right? Are you in or are you out? That's what this is coming to, right? Are you in? You got, you got in real estate for a reason, right? Good. Ignite. Uh, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 12.30. Once again, four weeks, takes a week break, comes back in again. Millionaire Monday, so Kate's got this one. So every first and third Monday of the month. So she's bringing on some special guests. I know she's working on a few more guests, maybe even one out of San Antonio. So good. So our certified negotiating expert this date is the June the 30th and July 1st. So that's Michael McSorley gonna teach that one here for us. Michael's been on the radio show, okay. How hard is it to get on the radio show? It's not that hard, right? Reach out to Bill. Sunday, five o'clock. Report on Monday afternoons. Yep. Exactly. And he did take a few of my ums and ahs out. I heard it. I could just I could see it. <laughs> Good. Command your business. So this is every Wednesday now, 11 to 12. We've got a variety of instructors that are teaching it. So Troy Chase um, is teaching tomorrow, right? So it's going to be over in the coaching corner, correct? Yes. All right, so that one's 11 to 12, right? So Troy, his, he's now in his second year of business, just completed his second year. He's going into his third. He's something like 24, 25 million, something like that. Build a team, you know, does a lot of open houses are his things, brings in food trucks and ice cream trucks, right? So that's how he does his business. But he's in here because he has embraced command at a very high level. So make sure you're here for that one. Kimberly, what's the cost? It's free. it's free. Are you in? Are you out? In? Out. Good. Toastmasters every Thursday. Um, so that's 10 30, 11 30 right here and also done in a hybrid format. All about VA loans, a free CE class with Chris Kelso. By the way, I'm still we're just starting to coordinate some dates uh, for broker responsibility, but we'll have that in there. Once again, any of you that are coach or any of you that have teams and you're leading a team, you are required to have broker responsibility. It's a six hour CE course. Contract challenge. Chuck does this one on Friday, 1.30 to 3.30. And it's gonna be a little different this month. I don't know if we got a slide, but starting 
June, whatever the first Tuesday in, I'm sorry, first Saturday in June is, I'm doing contracts class in here from nine to 11 on Saturday mornings, first Saturday of the month. Classroom only, yes, classroom only. I'm just, it doesn't cost a thing. I'm a little technology challenged trying to get everything and you know, doing all that, so be here. Actually, I just want you here, that's, that's it. Uh, technology committee, so June the 1st, nine to 11, I'm sorry, nine to 10. That was with Anthony. Same thing, our social equity force, that one is June 1st from 10 to 11. Tribes, June the 1st. By the way, who, who gets to participate in committees? ALC committee meetings, everybody, right? We want you there, we want you there for your input. That was uh, 11 to 12 on Tuesday with Kate. Property tour. All right, we got one, and then I'm gonna, I've got a couple opportunities for somebody to share um, some wants and needs. I know Seppi's got one in the back of the room. I wanna make sure we hit that. So, uh, so Abby, are you on at all? Abby? So her open house is a broke, is that a broker open? Postpone next Tuesday, but it's a broker open. Okay, great. Grab a mic. Who's got a want and need? Uh, Seppi, you've got something. Grab a mic there. Hello, friends. So if you have a buyer who wants to invest in an income producing, I have 19 townhomes off of Gessner that you can buy sitting on two acre and you will own HOA as well. It's a great opportunity. So if you have an investor that they'd like to invest in a income producing stabilized asset, please let me know and we can uh, all make our clients happy. Seppi. Okay. Seppi, great. Excellent. Um, real quick, and I only got just a few minutes. Regina is on there, our bold coach. She's on, she just got on there, Kimberly said. So Regina, are you there? Well, Larry, I was just coming in to uh, take a sneak peek at the agents in the room. And the reason why I thought to do that today is because I've been asking a lot of questions around production and goal setting along with where we actually are. And what I'm discovering is that many of us are not exactly where we desire to be. And so I was just gonna get a glimpse of who might be in the room and to offer an explanation as to why you would desire to take bold as a result of what I just said. So if you would give me two or three minutes just to ask any questions for anyone that might have a reservation to register for Step Up to Bowl tomorrow that's free, I'd like to be able to address any concern. And then guess what? I'm jumping off of your call and I'm moving on to prepare for electric morning that leads me into an incredible evening to serve your people. Awesome. Well, we, we look forward to it. We're going to, you know, we've, we've had a lot of round bowl this week and last week. So we're, we're excited. This is going to be, this will be real good. We look forward to tomorrow, Regina. All right. Is there a let's question? Play, or let's two? play a little. You have a metaphor. Okay. Who's on there? Howard, are you on there? I'm sorry. I didn't know you had a metaphor there. So. All right, so we're going to play Kahoot, and here's what we're going to do with Kahoot. We're going to play for a bold ticket for you, right? So for those of you, the ones remaining that are left at home, and also those of you that are in the room, we're going to take care of a bold. So Dilsey, you better get back in here. There you go. All right. There you go. All right, so here comes Kahoot for a bold, for a bold, okay? All right. So 
anything over a square footage, 4,000 square feet, he will make a KW CARES donation. David Walters, 20 bucks. As your listing, bring the buyer, and it'll be yours. Bring the buyer. All right, let's 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 go on. Here's the important thing: if you're going to have a property for us to share or a Matterport for us to share, please, 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 please be on here, you know, to get the value of the of the property for us. Get all the questions answered. Great. All right, let's play some games. This one is for this one. So this one's for this is our listing contest, right? Here we go. Okay, got it. All right, in third place, Regina Polk, <laughs> Lily Jane. Lily Jane. Congratulations. <laughs> And in second place, Angelica Riveros, congrats. Okay, first place. Andrea Joseph. I think she won like in the last couple of weeks too. AJ's on a hot streak, guys. You're doing cahoot. By the Rachel way, Rachel Williams, why don't you come up and help me since you're a partner as well? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is a new thing that we do now. He volunteers me all the time. I don't have a choice. Well, you don't have to. Well, then you can do you're it. You're winning by you. coming up here. <laughs> Good see. Go to the site. Okay, got a minute to sign up. Turn that microphone on right now and tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Christina. Hi, I'm Christina Sacco. I'm with Magnolia Title. We are new to Houston, but not new to Title. We're located off of 1885 St. James Place, and we have wonderful residential and commercial closers, Julia Gustin and Parker Witt, who both um, I've worked with for a number of years, and they've been in the title industry for 20 plus years. So I look forward to visiting with everybody and hope the opportunity to work with all of y'all. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Up to 15 in there. Remember, this is going to be for a bold if you've already paid for bold and you can gift it to somebody else. It has no cash value. Regina's up there. Oh, I'm busted on that one. It, it has a large cash value, right, Regina? Long term cash value. You got it. <laughs> Potential for millions. That's exactly right. All right, we ready? Everyone, ready? Ready, ready, ready? When is the, when is the deadline to submit checks to accounting? June 2nd, July 4th, June 1st by five or June 5th? All right, if you got anything other than June 1st by 5 p.m., you need to write that one down because it's going to be really, really important to you. If you want to get paid, right? Good. Ariana's in. Uh huh. I know. Who had first place in top close volume in April? Go ahead and read the names. Sorry, first time doing this. First time. Lisa Bailey Griffin, Tanya Pruitt, Kimberly Gibbons, or Nor Norbert Rivera. Thank you, thank you. Good job, Norbert. 
Longhorn. Uh, who's the Which long? of the following is not a step of for reevaluating reevaluating your business goals? Assess where you are, giving up when you're feeling discouraged, goal setting, and addressing burnout. Y'all better get this one right. If not, it's going to be really upset if y'all don't. If get not, this right. you need to be in the goal setting class. Good job, all but two of you. Giving up when you're feeling discouraged. Whoever those two are, I'm sure if you call in, Chuck will help you with that. Last one. When is a certified negotiation expert course? June 30th through July 1st, June 2nd through June 3rd, July 4th, or June 25th through June 27th? How about our Vanna Whites? Great job. June 30th through July 1st. Make sure and sign up soon. All right. In third place. Go ahead, Rachel. In third place, B. In second place, Ben. And in first place, who gets a free bold registration is Longhorn. Longhorn. All right. Congratulations. Who's, Who's Longhorn? Longhorn? That'd be Jim Shelton. Who's Longhorn? Do we know? Jim Shelton. Jim Shelton. Jim Shelton, Jim right, Shelton congratulations. Jim. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right. Remember, next month starts once a month. Remember, yeah, right. Remember by getting paid. Remember, bold right here, one hour tomorrow, one to 2 p.m. Thank you.